Hello, my name is Patricia Holmes and we are beginning chapter 5. Now the files I have provided for you and they are, uh, if you open Canvas, they're in the file um, link on your left menu of your uh, menu bar. Okay, so guys, uh, today, <clears throat> excuse me, today we're going to start out with correcting red eyes. Um, Every single one of us photographers, whether we're amateur or taking selfies or what have you, have had photos with red eyes. So this is how we're gonna we're gonna correct it in Photoshop. First thing you need to notice is that they have a start out by opening up the red eye start JPEG image. So if you don't have that open, go ahead and open it up now, and then you can hit pause. And now that this is open, you're going to go File, and you're going to go File, Save As. And we are going to save this as a JPEG. So here I am in my Lesson 5. I'm going to come down here. I'm simply going to um, choose Photoshop, and I'm going to hit Save. And, yeah, replace it. Okay, so now what we're working with is we're working with a Photoshop file, a PSD file. So... Next, what we want to do is we want to go to the tool that corrects red eyes. So if you find this spot healing brush, click it. You'll see the sub menu, choose red eye. And up here to the very top of the menu, we have some options. The book is requesting we put the pupil size more along the lines of a smaller pupil size. of The book says 23 and darken it to 62. And so you can obviously, by looking at this, you can tell that we can choose the color of the pupil and the size of the pupil. So take, take your mouse, go right onto the image. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enlarge it a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, so take, take your mouse and see the crosshair. The tool has the crosshair. Put that right on top of the red and just click once. Come over here. Click that. So that corrected the red eye. So now we are going to click this um, and deselect out of it. Okay, next what we are going to do is we, if you're following me in the book, I'm beginning on chapter, I'm, I'm be, in the first part of chapter five. Uh, we're going to go view, fit on screen. The author is showing us a different way to view an image. And we are going to <clears throat> say fit on screen, which is located right here. Click it. And it just makes it a little bit bigger depending on what size you've been working at. Then the author wants us to save. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And we're going to work, always save our work in progress as working. Okay. So that didn't save as working, so I'm going to go save as, and I'm going to go working. Okay, next what we're going to do is the author is having us change the brightness. Every single image uh, often needs a color adjustment. So if you come over here to the adjustment panel, and if this particular adjustment panel is not open, again, go to Window, Adjustments, and that adjustment panel will open. If you hover your mouse over these icons, you will see what it is. That's brightness, this is levels, and this is curves. So the author is asking us to click the curve panel. I'm going to move this over here so you can see this a little bit better. Now, these panels can, be, can get dragged around and such. So I am going to do that right now. I'm going to drag this one out so you can see it a little bit more. And in this panel, the author is asking us to apply the automatic correction on the curves. So what we want to do first of all is we want to make sure that our presets are not on here. So we're on default, which is good. And we, we have the standard RGB. Okay, now you'll notice this button auto. Click it. That's what the computer thinks the image should look like. But we can adjust it also. So we can choose the lighter from the preset menu. So 
you come over here into preset you can you can choose lighter it will change it and you can actually play around with these you can choose you can choose darker now and let's say you don't like it just hit command Z or control Z and it'll take you back one step okay <clears throat> Next, what we're going to do is we are going to select um, the on image adjustment tool. And in the curves panel, I'm reading from the book, we are going to click the center of the forehead and drag upwards. This brightens the image nicely and also improves the contrast. And then we're going to flatten the layer. So what the author wants us to do is use the image adjustment tool. And that is this hand right here. And if you hover over it, you will see it's the image adjustment tool. Okay, let's click on it again. So it says you click and drag in an image to modify the curve. So we're going to click and we're going to drag it up. That's what the author wants us to do. So we're going to drag it up just a little bit and it's going to brighten the image. Next, what we're going to do is just, if you look over here on the layers at the bottom right, you'll see that our changes have made two layers. So we are going to go now up here to layer and we're going to choose flatten image. And it's all the way down here at the bottom. Flatten image. And what it just did is that it merged the two into one flat image. Okay, now there's more to do to this chapter, but for this video, I'm going to go ahead and stop and pick up on the next video. Thanks for listening.